here in Rogers, we help young artists take the next step in their career. Being a star takes more than talent. It takes hard work and a lot of determination. You know, it is a tough life that we've chosen here. You know, nothing is guaranteed. I moved to Seattle in high school and college, and I got to play in bands in the 90s. And it was an amazing place to be. The Seattle sound and the grunge scene was really just a cultural thing, you know? It was a bunch of friends that all knew each other and traded band members, and had a sound and a style, and uh, were very authentic and very real to their lifestyle in Seattle. Being a child of, of the 90s, I'm influenced by the 90s music. It was just a big part of my growing up, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden. Alice in Chains and something that just kind of embedded itself into my soul and who I am as a person, not just as an artist. It's just something that's tied to memories. Caleb has an amazing voice. It's got a lot of tone, a lot of emotion, and a ton of power that reminds you of some of the great bands from Seattle, but it's very current. My favorite vocalist of all time is, is Chris Cornell. Across genres, he's, he's just one of the greatest singers that's probably walked the earth. Incredible range and could go to the lowest of lows and the highest of highs and make these interesting sounds with his voice that the listener just connected to on a, on, on a lot of different levels. And um, I just fell in love with that. The same thing with like Eddie Vedder. The thing that's really great about music is it's, it's kind of like this form of magic that um, when you listen to something, it really just kind of gets in your DNA a little bit. My wife and I, we moved to Fayetteville right after high school. We're from Eric Springs and doing the school thing and working and we were looking for a house to buy and we just kind of drove around looking all over the place and we fell in love with Rogers, Arkansas. We've been, we've been there for going on 15 years now. Mom and Dad, I want you to make a TikTok with me. Mm, okay. okay you can try that. Lake Atalanta, it, it takes all the good things about this area and, and puts them very close to you. So you can drive out to there and you can feel like you're just miles away. We were in seventh and eighth grade when we first met. He would tell a story that um, I walked into his classroom and sharpened my pencil and he said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna marry that girl. And I remember seeing him for the first time and, and saying, I think I'm gonna marry that guy. Since I've known Caleb, he's always been very into music, very passionate. The whole journey of watching him grow in music, I was able to be a part of, which was really cool. Had several ups and downs and different journeys that he's been on, but I think overall I've really seen him grow as a musician over the last several years. Okay, are you ready? Three, Tell us. Two, one, go. Mark the dump truck in the clutch. Here comes the cootie squad. <laughs> he's just... <laughs> Sorry, Heather. Look who's with her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, what, 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 is this what we're supposed to do? <laughs> you do this. Oh, I just did one hand? Oh, that yeah, one way easier. So Kenny has tasked me with building a brand for myself. So today I'm going to Onyx to meet with Demetrius and Jackson. They're gonna assist me in developing that brand, you know, and bringing my ideas to life, as well as some of the ideas that, you know, they see in me. Decided that I really need to start focusing more on my brand. Okay. Um, that's kind of the part that I don't really know a lot about and something that I haven't focused on a lot. The most important thing is just being like genuine and unique to yourself. As an artist, do you have an idea of what that looks like? Wow, um, I think that as far as my sound goes, it's very just raw and I love nature and I want that to kind of come through in my image. Also, you know, it's in my music and it's in who I am as a person. Um, just by listening to your music, these were just the initial concepts and just kind of inspiration that I had. So I brought in some of these flowers right here. Right. And um, these daisies are just very simple. It kind of brings that gentleness that the acoustics does. This is kind of a, a rough outline, just an initial idea. Looking at it, I think that 
it's something that does symbolize, you know, my softness. And nature is really important to me, wildlife is really important to me, and I think that that just simplistic flower design is something that creates that image in people's minds. It's eye-catching, but it, it still gives you the boho indie vibe that we want you to kind of convey off of when you see it. Guys, this is awesome. Like, the flower, that's amazing. And just the simplicity, I think it represents me as a person. I wanted, when somebody sees this, they see you in the image without you having to be there. That's a really great representation. Myself and my music, for sure. The scary part about being a 17-year-old doing music and putting your life out there is being 17 and putting all of you out there. And I think that's just something that kind of comes along with the industry and just like being an artist is that you're always critiqued, but it's always subjective. Do you think we could put these on some flyers, this, this design on flyers for this weekend? Yeah, definitely. Super yeah. easy. Just put okay. the date and time on Awesome. There. Yeah, I think this would be really great. I mean, I've got to get it out pretty soon since yeah. it's coming up really fast. So yeah, this is awesome. Let's do this. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Barrett Baber is kind of a classic hometown hero. He's been working hard at it for a long time. He's had all the talent in the world. And as we all know, it just takes going after it, and he certainly did. I got into music very organically in that uh, I was never allowed to miss church because my dad was a preacher and was expected to participate in everything, and I did. And one of those things was church music. And very quickly after I learned how to play guitar in my teens, I started writing songs right away. And a lot of them are real bad songs, but uh, you gotta write those bad ones. About, about a thousand of those before you start writing good ones. So I, I dedicated the next decade or so of my life playing $200 shows in every VFW in Arkansas for, um, for you know, sometimes no money, sometimes for no people, which led me to a path of finally in my 30s being able to make a living making music. I credit deciding to be a teacher with, with a lot of my success now. Hey everybody, it's Barrett Baber and I'm reaching out to you to ask for your help. I need your vote so that I can win this season of The Voice. There was an opportunity for me, forced me to make a decision uh, to not be a fraud, and, and, and that I can't stand up in front of these high school kids and tell them to chase their dreams if I'm not willing to do it myself. You know, I had to quit my job before the auditions. It was still scary and not really knowing what I was gonna do if this thing didn't work out. There's no way I was gonna take that leap of faith uh, unless uh, something crazy happened and something crazy did happen. I love people, but putting myself out there is always challenging. So, are you a good singer? Oh, the star-crossed love. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> you got a gift. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was in a car wreck. I just had really, really bad survivor's guilt, but you can only control so much. We're all kind of on this journey, and it's an unknown journey. I never really considered how powerful it could be to share yourself with, with the nation. Yeah.